following takes place between six period and the beginning of tutorial. What's the situation? Kevin Chase, 14 years old, suspected homicide. Cause of death? Knife in the back. Although, that's not the weird part. What's weird about a knife in the back? See it for yourself. Take a picture and uh, get get them down. Oh dear God. Hey Jack, we found this in his pockets. You may want to take a look at it. Thanks. We got it to work. We managed to break the laws, but I told him it was too dangerous. He wouldn't listen. He wants to set it off at the end of sixth period. Please hurry. What the hell? What is it? I think we might have a potential bomb scare here. Call the office right now. It's no good. There's no reception here. Well, duh, the building's interior is made out of metal. Why does that matter? Well, this house is kind of like a Faraday cage, which basically means that since it's an all-metal environment, that the radio waves, being electric and magnetic waves, will be deflected by the house. So, it's because of that you have no reception. Try going outside and calling. Hey Tony, I need a background check on a Kevin Chase. I need to know any kind of projects he was working on and who with. Alright, I'll call you once I've posted this information. One more thing, how long till the end of 6th period? I'm pretty sure it ends at 2 o'clock. Then we've got to hurry, we've only got... Fifty minutes. Fifty minutes? To what? I'm not sure yet. Stupid inertia. Who did what now? Oh, it's just that whenever you turn, although the car may be turning, my inertia keeps me going forward. Therefore, I slam into the side of your door. Just be glad you're wearing a seatbelt. Otherwise, your inertia would get you smashing through the windshield every time I stopped. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, let's go meet with Emma. Hmm, that is strange. How's it looking? You won't even believe this. This guy, Kevin Chase, was working on this project with this guy named Ben Praxis. Apparently, they're trying to create a device that could reverse gravity. How would that be possible? Created a machine that could actually produce an imaginary mass greater than the Earth's mass. Wait, why does that even matter, though? Because anything that has mass also has gravity, and people will be drawn towards whichever mass is greater. And since it has greater gravity and greater inertia, how could that be possible? The force of gravity produced by the Earth based on F equals GM1M2 over D squared 
is 6.67 times 10 to the 24. How can they counter that? Wait. If he tries to create an imaginary mass, it might be possible for him to form a quantum singularity. What? It's basically a small black hole. This is Jack. My theory needs to be proven. Ben? Yes. What do you want? I just want to see my discovery come to life. Tony, trace the call. Now. Sacrifices are needed to allow the rest of humanity to evolve. I don't know if you've realized it yet, but you must know you're going to kill a lot of people. Did we not drop a nuke on Hiroshima? A few deaths are needed to bring change. Ben? Ben? Damn it. Did you trace the call? Yeah. Came from a payphone by the school gym. Then we can still catch him if we are. Come on. Damn, he's not here anymore. Hey, did you see anyone using this payphone? What? Which way did he go? He went that way at 10 meters per second at 25 seconds. So he must have traveled exactly 250 meters. Well, actually, it, start, it started accelerating in that direction for 10 meters per second squared for 10 seconds. That means he reached a peak velocity of 110 meters per second, his average speed being 55 meters per second. That means he traveled an additional 550 meters, in addition to the 250 to begin with, meaning he moved, traveled 800 meters. Wait a minute. There's only one room that's 800 meters away from here. Mr. Hammock's room! Dude, what the heck? Wow, you guys aren't as stupid as you look. Crap, he's got a gun. Oh god. I left mine in the car! I've got mine. Freeze! Ah, oh, crap. What are you going to do, spam me? Wait, I've got an idea. We'll use resonance. Resonance? Yeah, resonance. Basically, his gun has got its own frequency. Therefore, if we create sound waves of the exact same frequency, the waves will build up and it will actually cause his gun to shatter. Ah, it will never work. Alright, ready? Now! Stop. Oh, no! Huh, we've broken your gun. Now give us the detonator. Ha! Huh. Already activated. You have three minutes left. Wow, that's really sad. I surrender. Ha, CTU always wins.